Good morning, witches. It's Sunday morning, and um, I wanted to show you. I made a video um, a couple days ago about how milky quartz kept coming into my life. I kept finding them. Um, now, you guys know my husband is nothing to do with witches or anything like that. He hates that. Um, super fundamentalist Christian. He brought me home this pile of rocks. I came home yet last night and I came in this room and I thought a spirit literally had just brought this to me. <laughs> um, I didn't even know he knew I had a thing about rocks. But look at how beautiful this is. The camera just really isn't doing it justice, but these are really awesome rocks that he found me. Okay, there we go. You can see that. And I think it's especially amazing that he picked these particular ones. Um, I don't know that this one is a milky quartz. It's a little bit too... There might be some in it, but um, I don't know that it's... But this one definitely is. Um, look at these. These are just so amazing. And I loved that he put them all in this pile like this. Um, to me, this was kind of really symbolic of all of the healing energy all of you guys have been sending me since I did that video um, telling you, you know, about the Christian intervention and what was going on with my husband and stuff. You guys have been sending me all these awesome messages and healing energy and all kinds of love and I think it made a difference. Um, it's really making a difference because um, for him to, number one, even accept the fact that I'm like, you know, hippie rock lady and stuff like that and actually pick up rocks for me. That's like a huge um, step out of his usual. <laughs> Look at this one, how sparkly it is. Isn't that awesome? I don't know what this is. So if you guys know what these um, are, please tell me because I'm just starting to learn about crystals and stuff. Um, I never really was that into it before, but um, now that I'm learning the different properties of different crystals, um, I'm starting to collect them. I have, so far, I have um, rose quartz, um, clear quartz, uh, amethyst, I have some garnet, um, I love tiger's eye, I, I actually have had tiger's eye for a long time, um, and garnet is my birthstone for January, um, and I, I do know some of them, but I'm really starting to learn, um, you know, what each one is for, and I've been starting to meditate with crystals, and, um, I just recently, you know, set the crystals up on my altar, and I've had them there kind of, you know, for a while, and I really do um, believe that they have healing energy. Isn't this so cool? Okay. Um, so that's that, and I, I loved the way he set them up. I don't think I can even set them up the way that they were set up before. They were like all together in a cute little pile. So you could see them all. Um, okay, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys was my bucket of toads. I tried to video this the other day, but um, I the sun was in my eyes, and my video ended up like upside down and stuff. So um, this is only a little bit of them. I had like 26 of them in here, and but we let most of them go. But I'm going to um, migrate some of them to my area because um, we don't have many toads anymore around my house. So I thought these guys, who I know, some of them did already mate. 
um, so some of them probably are pregnant. I'm going to release them around here and hopefully I can um, help with the population of toads. Aren't they sweet? Oh, I just, I love, you guys know I love frogs. I collect frog stuff, but um, I really love toads the most. Hey, little guy. Hi, little toady. I absolutely love toads. I've had a thing with them since I was a little, little kid. Um, my grandpa used to um, have an in-ground pool, and they would always jump in the pool. And I would be so happy when I went to go swim in the pool, and there would be a little toad swimming in there with me. And um, I would always make sure I checked the um, filter to make sure none of them got hurt or caught or stuck in the filter and died. And so I would take them out, play with them for a day, and then let them go. My grandfather always taught me um, about nature, and he always taught me to be gentle and loving. 